Hi, everyone. Welcome to Friday's Did You Know? And today I'm going to focus on a virtual conference I attended um, put on by Harvard Kennedy School. And it was called Emerging School Models Moving from Alternative to Mainstream. And I was curious about where the discussion was going and some of the insights. And so I will show you some of the takeaways and some of the speakers and um, give you the Reader's Digest version of what happened. So let's take a look and I'll show you where you can find the information as well. So it's quite easy, just Google the emerging school models um, and it will take you to the page and it the agenda was micro schools, an affluent niche or breaking out homeschooling options, hybrids, and more. What are the conditions necessary for success in virtual schools? And then bringing emerging models to scale, are ESAs a regulatory nightmare? Recent rise of classical charter schools, how should emerging models incorporate AI? So the interesting parts, um, essentially, I was concerned about talks about um, governance and policies and regulations. To my surprise, they were actually talking about letting up on some of those things. Um, and the reason why I would attend an American-based conference is because Canada is the little brother to the north kind of thing, and we do tend to follow um, some of the trends that are going on in the U.S. Um, and they are starting to push education funds to private schools, a lot of politicians. So I do think the education funds are going to be pushed. And there are a lot of other talks, but... Um, Again, some of the major takeaways were the dramatic improvement in student success from these alternative models, um, how there is a rise in charter schools. I think that could happen in Canada, but quite frankly, I think we're just the version of public school. I do like the idea of these smaller entities. They're more community focused because they are a part of the community and, um, you know, decentralized smaller groups are kind of harder to control, which I can appreciate. Um, but that was interesting. The rise, of course, homeschooling has exploded, but homeschooling is not only homeschooling. There are so many variations to um homeschooling, privately educated kids um, that are like people do part time, people move and it's very interesting. People are just kind of piecemealing what works for them and it is working out really beautifully. Um, we even had uh, like a lot of students respond that they were quite fond of that because it focused on their interests and skills um, and families expressed um, that they really liked that model where they got to choose um, and they found their children to be quite successful with that. And what other takeaways were there? Um, they were talking about moving away from the, some of the traditional assessments, which was quite interesting. Um, a lot of practical, real life skills, um, which only makes sense. Um, you could see that there was a bit of a divide, like red states versus blue states and um, the discourse they were having. So that was also interesting. And I guess my final takeaway is that I encourage you to go take a look. I also tripped upon something here that will give people some more information. So some of the things that I came across as I was snooping about um, 
Should school boards run schools, a virtual conference series on school governance? And they have the videos and all the information. I haven't seen all of them. Do school boards represent parents' interests? Do unions have too much power over school boards? Are school boards democratic? Do school boards govern or are they rubber stamps? How can school boards navigate the culture wars? If not boards, who the case for alternative schools um, in school governance? So if anybody is wondering the trajectory, which I think is quite obvious, um, it is going to alternative education will, in fact, move into the mainstream. The way things will unravel, I don't know. I know some people are fearful. Um, I say don't be. This is an opportunity to be super creative and um, start filling your raft, <laughs> prepare an escape route, because um, I don't think public school will be eliminated completely, but it will be reduced significantly. And I'm more of like, like a Band-Aid, do it quickly, but I think it will be a slow roll, but they are creating the temperatures for this to propel forward. Essentially, they want to privatize and they're creating the you know, the situation that parents will be begging for privatization. I think they're, and they're also doing this in healthcare. It's not hard to find their plan. Everything's always in plain sight. So I do encourage you guys to go take a look and look things up and just scroll back and um, you'll be able to find things quite easily. It's all on YouTube. So happy researching. And I hope this was informative and Stay hopeful. You got this. We are going to um, create a better world for our kids. Have a great weekend. Happy Thanksgiving.